gonna get the kids' lunches packed, get my vinegar. I'm gonna take that ham out of the freezer. I seen a message from my dad. She had a better night last night, so she wants to try to have that ham dinner today. So I said, fine, I put that pot of potatoes out on the porch because it's cold out there. Not cold like the winter, but cold. And uh, they're still all peeled and everything. I just need to take that ham out because I put it in the freezer, but it's only early, so I can let it defrost. Peel some carrots and, yeah, make that stove top or whatever when it's close to supper time, so... Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get the kids' lunches packed and yeah, get this morning rolling. <clears throat> oh gosh, <laughs> I got the lunches made. I'm just making my coffee now. It's about 20 after 6. But yeah, look at it outside. I think it's supposed to be another rainy day, but it looks so nice out. It actually turned so beautiful out. I mean, it was beautiful when it was raining, don't get me wrong. But yesterday it was raining most of the day and then the sun came out and it got really warm. My husband went out and mowed this back lawn because um, it was all full of dandelions again. Um, this The back of the house grows a lot faster than the front of the house. But yeah, anyways, that's done. I'm going to have my coffee. I have my vinegar. Let me turn you around. Yeah, I have my apple cider vinegar with the mother. That'll wake you up in the morning, let me tell you. It doesn't taste good. I mean, I'm so used to the taste now. It tastes like diluted... Well, you know if you brush your teeth and have apple juice, that bitter taste? It's kind of like that. But diluted a little bit because I put a put water in it. But I just chug it back. Just chug it back and it's done and over with it. Good way to wake your system up. Anyways, my coffee's all done brewing. I'm going to get my stevia in. Heavy whipping cream. Today's garbage day, too. I have a whole bunch of <sighs> recycle, a whole bunch, like a truckload of recycle to go out. So, yes, I have to get uh, get my son up and get moving. The Three Stooges are on TV right now in black and white. I'm going to have my coffee and watch a bit of the Three Stooges before I wake the kids up. All right, I put it off long enough. i got to go get the kids up. Ooh. Oh, let's get this party started, shall we? Oh, I can see Misha's going to be the sleepy head today. She came downstairs and tried to lay back down. So I had to pick her, drag her up and stick her in the bathroom. I said, go pee and here's some clothes for you. Oh, the other girls are getting themselves together and kind of come downstairs. So I'll get them a quick breakfast. Scratch that. It's probably going to be Mally. She's 11, but you'd think she's a 14-year-old teenage girl. <sighs> I tell you. Well, while I'm waiting for the kids to get their butts out in the kitchen, I'm going to empty this dishwasher. All right, guys. Well, the girls made it out on the bus. It's raining outside. I just stood at the door and waited for the bus to go. They ran out just in time. Just I didn't want them standing in the rain. But I have my son's big thing on. I'm just going to bring out a couple of recycle bags. I got Mazai's old boots on. They don't fit her anymore. They're long enough, but she has really wide feet. Uh, but they fit me, so they're my new rain boots. And um, yeah, I gotta organize the rest of the garbage routine for when my teenager, I get him up because he's doing the heavy lifting, not me. All right, guys, well, I just brought out a last bag. I didn't bring all of this out, but that's our recycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bags of recycle and four bags of garbage. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, it's raining pretty steady, but these trees are protecting me like I'm not getting drenched. But can you hear the raindrops slapping on the leaves? Oh, it's so pretty. It's like music to my ears. But, oh, I'm nice and awake now. Oh, tomorrow will be Friday. I need to take that ham out of the freezer now. And, uh, yeah, Maze is still sleeping. He doesn't have school today, so I just left, let him be. And, yeah, we'll just see how the day goes.
Well, it's 9.25, and Maze just woke up a little while ago. Say hi, Maze. Hi. He's having some yogurt, and we're watching the old school Looney Tunes on TV. So we're just going to kick back and relax a little bit. These are funny shows, aren't they, Maze? Yeah, he's busy. <laughs> All right, it's 10.37. I'm going to peel up these carrots and chop them up because we're going to have carrots to go with that ham and potatoes and corn and peas. So just want to get these in a pot um, to be ready to be cooked later this afternoon. All right, they're all peeled. I actually used my, I peeled them and then I used my food processor with the, not the cheese grater attachment, but you can flip it over and it's what I do my cabbage when I make sauerkraut with, just thicker slices. Uh, so they're mainly in discs and stuff. I'm just going to put the cover on it. It's cold water. I'm not cooking them now. I'm about to start the dishwasher. Oh, just a sec. Yeah, I'm about to start the dishwasher. Uh, that ham's in the microwave defrosting. And I'm going to spin over to Medea's because she wants me to take a few pictures of her with the grad gown because uh, she has to return it today, I think. So I'll go over there in just, uh, in just a sec. And uh, yeah, that's what's going down. I'm just coming out to the car. So yeah, I guess my husband got a tire on a rim for my van so it can be put back on hopefully it'll hold air it's just a second hand tire they had kicking around so till we get some new brand spanking new tires but yeah i'm gonna spin over to medea's now and uh play photographer for a minute all right i'm at medea's and guess who just woke up say hi evie say <laughs> ah <laughs> Day is just in the shower and then we're going to take some pictures but he was up having a nap when I first got here so he's just getting up gonna get into some trouble aren't ya aren't ya <laughs> <laughs> anyways we'll be back I just wanted to say hi and have you wanted to say hi oh oh friends well we left Medea's we had to go over to our house like my house to take pictures because part of her gown thing uh, was missing and it was in the van and the van was at our house so we went over there and took a million pictures and now we're in town because she has to drop off her gown and stuff they can't do it <laughs> anyways I'll be back all right guys yeah Medea was gonna go get her eyebrows done but they didn't have room so we dropped off her gown we're just at Superstore. She's running in. I went through the Tim Hortons. Evie's got some Timbits. May's got a donut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got a coffee because I just had that one this morning. And then when Medea comes out, I'm going to run in there. I just don't want to. No, I'm just going to run in. You're going to help take care of uh, Evie and you can have a Timbit after your donut if you want, okay? I don't care for taking kids in stores if I don't have to, so she can watch these guys while I run in. And I'm watching them while she ran, runs in, so works out. But it's raining cats and dogs, it really is. Holy smoly. So, anyways, I'll be back. I just found Raffy Baby Beluga in the car, so that's what we're going to be rocking. You remember this maze? Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea. Swims so wide and he swims so free. Heaven above and the sea below. And the little white whale on the go. Alright, now Medea's back out. I had to pop the trunk and stuff for her. And it's still a raining, so I'm just going to get one of those little carts and just get a couple of things here. And then we'll head home. So I want to be there before the kids get home from school. Alright guys, this was the ham I got yesterday. Um, it's a ham, big old ham steak. It's super thick. But I just stopped at Superstore too. I was going to get another one, but they didn't have any. And a whole ham is like 40 bucks. I'm not doing it. So I got a couple of these, those kind. The kids will eat some of that, and there'll be an option of the two. I got two of these things. And I got another thing of store-bought cupcakes. Should have had this laid out on the table. But I bought one yesterday, vanilla cupcakes. These ones are chocolate. Just so there'll be enough for everybody that wants to have one. Hey, come home though, my husband made a whole bunch of eggs, two packs of bacon, and is making cabbage and sausage. So I'll have to pack this stuff away before I start doing the carrots and the potatoes and all that jazz. So we'll just wait till this is done. It's 2.11. My kids will be home in about a half hour. But yeah, 
It's a busy spot. The kitchen's a busy spot today. Oh, well, there's the bacon and eggs. <clears throat> but i got to empty this dishwasher so I can start loading up the rest of the dishes around here. I took that ham out of the package and it just fills up this one of those things. So I might just add a little tiny splash of water in there and I want to stick it in the oven to start warming it up. And then I'm going to slice it up. And while that's doing that thing, I'm going to cut up those little football hams. And I'm going to spread them out on these cookie sheets and put those in the oven after. I don't like ham slimy or anything. I like it not dried out to the point of dried out, but, you know, I don't know. Just a little drier than slime. So I was doing a reading. I'm waiting for the other ham to be done, then I'll put this ham in. But for now... I'm going to pack up this cabbage and sausage. It's still hot, so I won't put the covers on it, but I'm going to fill up as many of these as I can so I can put them in the fridge and clear the stove top off. Then I can start boiling my veggies. I got it all packed up. We got eight um, containers. My son's having a big bowl now. My husband had a big bowl, and all of these are going to go in the fridge, but they're still super hot, so I'm going to let them cool down a bit before I cover them up. And that ham has three minutes left in the oven. I'll check on it, and then I'll stick these in and wipe the stove off and uh, get the potatoes and stuff going. All right, that made a little more juice. I only put like a splash, seriously a splash, but I'm going to put it back in oh. and um, without the cover on it and let it dry out a smidge and then I'll cut it up. But I'm going to see if I can put one of those other pans of the other ham just underneath of it just to get that going. Get going, Evie. No. See, like this. So one on the top, one on the bottom. The other one's still on the table. All right, it's 3.13. I just turned these pots on. That's the potatoes. It's the carrots. I'm going to go down in the basement and get some corn and peas. I found out I still had a few jars down there. I thought I didn't, but I do. So I'm going to go get those and bring them up. And um, I washed the frying pans that cabbage and sausage were in. And put them away because the dishwasher is going and there's no room for them. And I don't think I turned the timer on for the oven. I'll put it in for 20 minutes or so. Oh, it smells good. Cook time. 20 minutes. I'll go get those and maybe a jar of bread and butter pickles and we'll be good. And there's Misha. <laughs> All right, I just went down and got that oven. <laughs> goodness I trying playing with that little four-wheeler there went down and got these I rinsed them off just because they're down in a you know cold basement dirt floor basement and stuff but I made these bread and butter pickles back in September of 18 I forget when I canned these but you know last year sometime just some corn and peas and yeah I brought up two jars of each so that'll go with the potatoes and carrots and oh I had that instant dressing I was going to make. I have to go find that. Okay, it is 3.32. I opened those jars. I put them in here. I haven't turned those on yet because they just need to be heated up. They're all cooked. And I'm just having my green drink with a scoop of that collagen in it. I'm going to have that now. The dishwasher's going and the potatoes and carrots are going. So I'll just keep an eye on those. And yeah, two minutes. I turned it, the broiler on just to speed up the process a bit and that way oh my goodness I can uh, get this pan in I did end up putting those cabbage things in the fridge cleared a spot and then it's just this and then we'll be good to go with the dressing and yeah then they can eat all right I just took these out of the oven I'm gonna flip these over I'm gonna drain the little bit of juice that's in there and flip that over what time is it 3.37, so we're doing good. I almost forgot about the laundry I did this morning. i got to switch that over. I have five towels to hang up on the drying racks. i put the rest in the dryer. Um, i put those pans of ham back in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then I'll take them out and put the fresh pan of ham in the oven. <laughs> Follow me? Just drain the potatoes and put a nice big big chunk of butter real butter in there and put the lid on it I'll let it sit a minute and then I'll mash it up and whip it with a bit of milk and salt and pepper 
a second pan came out. I just I put them all in one of these things. I'm going to cover it with foil, shut the oven off, and put it in the oven because the oven's still hot, but it's going to be cooling down. There's that other ham. I didn't bother cutting it up. We'll have to cut it up after. Uh, here's the carrots. I put a good dose of butter in there, some sugar, not a whole bunch, some salt, and stirred that around. Turn these way down on low. I can actually shut them off because they'll stay warm. And over here, I whipped the potatoes. They're nice and creamy. I actually added whipped cream to them, like the stuff I put in my coffee instead of milk. They're nice and creamy. And yeah, I'll get that jar of pickles open. That's the last of my little drink there. My husband got me a coffee too, but I'm not drinking that now. I'll put it in the fridge. Open that bread and butter pickle thing. And I gotta go get Medea for 4.30. It's 4.11 now, so I'll start getting myself together. Well, it stopped raining. I just got to Medea's. I'm picking her up. Everything's all done at home. And uh, yeah, I just need to... She left a cup in here. I want to bring it in so it's not floating around here in the van. But yeah, look at the rain. I'm going to get her lawn mowed. And yeah, but it turned out to be a beautiful day. But it rained just up until about an hour ago. All right, I picked up Medea, and here's the, those little football hams is what I call them. Um, they're done. I cut up part of this. I didn't cut it all up, but I left the knife and fork stuck in there. The carrots, the peas, the whipped potato, and the corn, and the pickles are right here. So. Yes, Medea brought an apple pie, and I have those cupcakes hidden in the laundry room, so that'll be for after. I'm not really hungry. None of that food's keto except for maybe a little ham, so that's what I'm having. But I can have some of that cabbage and sausage after if I'm hungry. But yeah, probably be some leftovers, but that's okay. You can eat it up in the next day or two. I'll send, I'll do Dad up a plate and bring it into him, and yeah. We'll be good. I'd rather have too much than not enough, though, for sure. So these are the cupcakes. If you didn't see my video from yesterday, I bought these ones. They're the vanilla ones. Uh, hats off, grad. And the chocolate ones I bought today. Um, I'm a chocolate kind of person. I might even have one of these. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm about to drive my day to work. So I made Dad up a plate. I'm going to drop it off when I go in there. And a nice slice of apple pie so he won't have to make supper tomorrow it's a big plate he could maybe make two two meals out of it we'll see all right I'm rocking print still I'm just I dropped Medea off to work I'm at Walmart because I had an online order uh, arrive and they're supposed to bring it out to the van I ordered a couple of coolers like hard coolers we used to have some but they've cracked and they're old and um, we haven't had new coolers in years and years, so I bought two. I got a really good deal on them, I forget now. But anyways, it's free pickup at the store. And I just pulled my car right up to the front door in the fire lane. That's where they told me to come. I could have brought them out in a shopping cart. They're like, no, we'll bring it out to you. So, whatever. And then I'm headed home. I already got a call from Mally. Where are you almost home? I'm thinking, for goodness sakes, I just got into town. But see them yet anyways just filling you in oh yeah and I forgot to tell you you know the plate that I did up for dad with the apple pie and the pickles and stuff I forgot it we left in such a rush I forgot it but I have to pick her up at nine o'clock I'll bring it in and drop it off to him then I'll just come in a little bit early heavens to Betsy I mean I was on the ball got him a nice big rounded plate and planned on dropping it off but I'll just drop it off later on oh, I'm a doorknob sometimes all right, guys, I'm back home. I thought I'll do up a plate for our neighbor, too, Sarika. I have a little pickles there and some apple pie. She doesn't eat very many sweets, so I'm not going to send a cupcake. But a good helping of food here. And, uh, yeah, she won't have to worry about her lunch or supper tomorrow. Mally's going to bring it over. All right, guys, well, it's about 10 to 9. We're about to head out to get Medea. I'm just waiting for my son to get back. He had to run down to the store for something. I said, well, you better put a... Uh, get moving because I need to get to town so we're just waiting out here I got his bag packed and yeah he's sleepy he's ready for bed 
but at least it's not raining now. I don't know if it's supposed to rain tomorrow or not, but yes, I still, I have the ham packed up in the fridge. Um, our neighbor, she hadn't had supper yet, so she said she made two meals out of that, so that's good. <clears throat> that dish that we sent over. And, yeah. We'll see, uh, we'll see how the rest of the night goes, but by the time I get home, the kids will be heading to bed. They should be heading to bed now, but I need to go get Medea, because she's done work. Right, baby? Yeah. Yes? We yeah. go get Mama? Yeah. We go get Mama? Yeah. Yeah, you go get mummy. Everything is no these days. That's all he ever says is no whenever you ask him a question. That's babies for you. Ah! This better be Marquise. Fingers crossed. Good morning, guys. Right back where we started, I believe. It's Friday morning. It's wee day at school today. But I just got done packing the kids' lunches, and I'm heating up that coffee my husband bought me the other day, or yesterday. Down at that Sisabu coffee to stay on the road. Um, it's going to be a double shot in the dark, so it's going to be nice and strong, which is what I need this morning. It's only about 20 after 6 now. I got up around 6. And yeah, it's the kickoff to the weekend when the kids get home. So, anyways, yeah, I wanted to get this video up yesterday, but when I was, went to sit down to edit, all these pop ups kept popping up on my computer, and I thought, well, one of the kids must have installed something, and whatever. I tried to uninstall, went to the settings, apps, but the what it was saying the company was wasn't in the install thing, so I was like, screw this. I'm just going to scan it and deep scan it, and which I did overnight, so it said it fixed a couple of problems. So I'm going to go sit up there after the kids go to school and get this video up. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go enjoy my coffee and have it done before I get the kids up. And then I'll sit down and do this video, but I'll check in before I do that. Hey guys, I haven't checked in in a while. It's 12.32. I'm here with the two boys. May well, three boys. Marquise is home today. Uh, Maze, Marquise, and Evie. I went into town to pick Medea up. She had to work for 10. She works from 10 to 5 today, so I have Evie. Um, I stopped and dropped Dad's plate of food off this morning. I meant to do it last night. Forgot again, for goodness sakes. But he was there mowing the lawn. I didn't stay for a visit. He was out on his ride on, but I talked to him for a sec. And I had Evie in the van. And um, then came back and was trying to tinker with that stinking computer. And I think it was my editing program. Um, I looked it up and I bought it in 2017 so I think it was out of date or something like I don't know I don't know so I uninstalled it and reinstalled the newest one it's on the trial version right now um, so I'll probably have to pay for it after seven days but hopefully I can get this video up um, it's fancy it works a lot faster I like it but yeah I just I wish they'd send me an email to say that it's expiring and it's not gonna work and you know I don't know if that's what it was but it was high time that I upgraded a little bit so yeah, I did stop to Sobeys. Uh, I'm kind of slow to the game. I registered for Air Miles, which I had an Air Miles card years ago, and I didn't really follow it a whole lot, but I go to Sobeys for prescriptions, and you get a mile for every prescription you get, and at the Irving gas station you get uh, Air Miles. My sister-in-law is the one that kicked me off to this because she's starting to do this. And when I was in Sobeys, I was just wandering around the store. I had Evie in the cart with me. And I just noticed all the things that, you know, if you buy one or two of these, you'll get so many air miles. So I bought some laundry soap, which I had some laundry soap here, but laundry soap I can always use. And I think I got 10 miles for buying two, and they were for $3.99 each. So I'm like, ah, I'll do that. Anyway, so I had fun window shopping like that, and I just got done registering. Uh, I guess I have a Samsung phone. And I guess if I use the Samsung Pay app, like if you go to the store to pay with your phone, if you use it three times in a week, you'll get 25 miles. So I'm going to start to try to do that. Say hi, Evie. Say hi, Evie. Anyways, I registered my air miles on the Samsung app. And uh, I use that today. I don't have my debit card or my credit cards on Samsung Pay, but I'll just use my phone to tap the air miles barcode instead of the actual card. 
and then I'll get 25 miles if I go there and use it three times. Um, well, I guess at any store, not just Sobeys. I need gas. You guys know how much I have to stop and get gas because I only put a piddly amount. But then I, it gets my mind thinking. I was driving by the Irving today and they have a sign on Saturday and Sunday you get four times the air miles. And I guess it's for every 20 liters of gas you get, you get a mile. So, uh, yeah, an air mile. So I don't know. I might one of these days actually fill up my van at one time uh, and see if it, I can make it last for the week. Because that's probably what I spend anyways on you know, gas in a week, so we'll see. My mind, my wheels in my mind are just rolling. But while I was at Sobeys, I picked up a couple of those Kraft macaroni salad boxes. They look like Kraft dinner boxes. Let me see. I picked up two of those. There's a little bit of ham left, enough for supper tonight. So I thought they can have ham and that salad. There's no more veggies. There was only a scoop or two of potatoes, which I ended up throwing out just because I didn't feel like making potato bread and I just know. Um, or composting it, I should say. Are you playing basketball? Ah. So they're going to have that. And I have some, that veggie tray. So they're going to have like broccoli and cauliflower and carrots and celery. Some salad and some ham for supper. Those are Doppy's keys, you silly. Grandpapadopoulos. I'll get you a bottle. He just woke up from a nap too. So anyways, I'm jabbering, but I'll be back. I'm just going to lump yesterday and today's video all together. I know it's going to be a long one, but that's what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> now that he's awake and it, uh, Maze is running around, I'm not going to be able to sit down and try to get this video all done at one time. So it's going to be a double header, guys. All right, I'm just heating up two little pots. My medium-sized pots are in the dishwasher now, so I'm making two little pots because I'm making two boxes of those um, uh, salads. So, And then when the noodles are done, I'll just put them all in one big bowl and mix it up with the stuff. But that's a sandwich I made maize. He's off running, running around. I have a little project here for Mally when she gets home. She likes doing this stuff. This was another one of those air mile finds. If you buy three bags, I forget, you get 10 miles. And uh, I have those little snack bags. She likes bagging them up for me, so I don't like doing it. So she can do that when she gets home if she wants to. And that way I can have a week or two worth of goldfish crackers for the kids' lunches. So, yeah. Guys, it's 10 after 2. I just um, strained and rinsed this with cold water. I'm going to let it sit for a little while to really cool down good. And then I'm just going to mix it up together. And that'll be that. I'm just trying to get this together. I literally have babies right under my feet. Um, I just added some relish. I don't ever measure. I was using up the rest of the relish I have in there. Some mustard. Some Miracle Whip. I'm going to mix it together. And then I have the two seasoning packs I'm going to put in and put it in the fridge. I mean, the macaroni's nice and cold now anyways, but just so it'll be uh, ready for supper tonight. All right, I know it's not good lighting, but it's all mixed up with the seasoning and stuff, so I'm just gonna put the cover on it and put it in the fridge. Nothing in the purple rain, purple rain, purple rain. I just got into Medea's work. I'm just picking her up. Evie's in the back and he might be falling asleep. Or halfway there anyways. But it's really sunny out and beautiful out. The kids are outside playing. And they, I just gave them supper. They had that ham I warmed up. And that macaroni salad. And that veggie tray. And they could have a dill pickle if they wanted. Some wanted it, some didn't. So, yeah. My son's waiting for me to get back home. Because he's going to go out for supper with his lady friend. And... Um, my husband went fishing this morning with his mother, and yeah, I don't know where they go. Somewhere's back, back in New France or something like that, I believe. And yeah, hopefully they had a good, good time. Hopefully they caught some stuff and were able to cook it up and have a good feed. So, anyways, just checking in, and I'll be back after. All right, guys. Well, it's ten to nine. I had a shower a little while ago, wash my hair and put cream and stuff on. <clears throat> I'm gonna start getting the kids ready for bed and yeah, straightened up the kitchen from supper and my husband's home from fishing. He caught, I think, eight fish today. 
I fried him up, ate trout, and then he caught a pickerel. So that's pretty good, I think. I don't know if they cook them all, but anyways, they have fun fishing. But anyways, I'm going to end this video, and hopefully I can get that program to work, even though it's the trial trial one, but we'll see. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really, truly do. So, so have a good night or have a good morning, and I'll see you that water we went through? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel.